Moving on, we got uh, Denver and Jacksonville. Uh, you know, um, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Jacksonville pulling me back in. You know, Denver's offense, they've slowed down the last couple weeks. They're trying to find themselves a little bit right now. Uh, they're turning it over way too much. They're not protecting the ball. They're throwing interceptions and they're fumbling it a lot. And, you know, pretty obviously that's an issue. Um, they're not prolific right now. The last three games, they haven't been scoring a ton like we would expect. And, you know, I don't know exactly what that is, but it, it's, a, it's an issue. So, you know, I still think they could be all right this year. I'm not completely, you know, they still got a fair share, their fair share of issues. But I still think that offense could bounce back. I, 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 I still think there's a lot of star power there. I'd like to, them to find a more consistent running game. Um, and defensively, it's the same old problems. Can't stop the run. Uh, not forcing enough turnovers. Can't stop just about anything. Where is Jarvis Moss? I want to see Jarvis Moss on the field because he's smelling like a bust. They still got all these Cleveland Brown imports on their front line right now. I will admit they're getting better at forcing pressure. They're getting some good pressure lately. You know, sacking, you know, getting sacks, um, all that stuff, but it, they got to get better. And I think it starts with um, Jarvis Moss. Jaguars, good solid game. Garrard played real nice, real just do what he needed to do. He made some big plays. He um, pl made a lot of little plays. The little ones that count that won't get represented on the scoreboard but they get the job done. Um, Maurice Jones-Drew exploded waiting for him to explode. Happened. I don't know what happened to Fred Taylor in this game actually. He didn't do anything really but I don't know if he got hurt or what it was but that's obviously something they got to think about. Matt Jones continues to have a nice season. I, if he could have a thousand yards this year, that would just be the great. That would just be great because I like Matt Jones. Mercedes Lewis finally stepping up, starting to make plays from the tight end position. They, um, the last two years, they've been waiting for him to break break out. It looks like it's happening. I don't know what happened to Mike Walker in this game. I think he got hurt. Uh, maybe he didn't even play. I think he went to the hospital or something, but. Jacksonville getting back on track. Defensively, I was impressed. You know, they did give up a lot on the ground. They gave up some on the, um, they gave up some through the air, but, um, hold on one second. Yes! Hold on! I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, but Jacksonville's defense forced turnovers and stopped Denver. They, they, and stop Denver from putting up too many points on the board. So this is a defense that I took to task a little bit last week after the Pittsburgh game. So they're starting to get their sea legs back. Um, Dallas, Arizona. I could go on and on for a while about Dallas. So let's start with the game. Romo, over the last three games, has thrown three touchdowns in all those games. He's thrown two interceptions. He's completed over 65% of his passes. He's had a quarterback rating over 100. He's, by all accounts, if you just look at the numbers, his numbers are great. But he looks bad. I have never seen a worse stretch of three games where a quarterback can put up nine touchdowns and two interceptions and a thousand yards or whatever he has because the numbers are good and look so bad doing it and I don't know if that's good or bad I'm leaning toward bad right now because Dallas is one and two in the last three games so it, it, I guess this is kinda like what Favre used to do except right now it's hurting Dallas a lot more than Favre hurt the Packers in Favre's prime. Um, you know, the first half of this game was almost comical for the Dallas offense, and it isn't very well represented in the stats. Romo was just, his mind was off the game. Dallas could not run the ball at all, 
and you know once again not using Felix <clears throat> because Barber he can run into a brick wall early in the game he's at his best late in the game early in the game you gotta get things going another way and I think Felix would probably be that answer but they're not using him uh, and you know Romo actually had like three or four fumbles in this game and he fell on one of them, another one of them got called back, another one of them was a tuck rule thing, and he lost another one. So, if you actually watch this game, you know, Romo was getting hit left and right, and I'll admit Arizona has a good defense this year. They got a nice pass rush going, but Romo's got to protect the ball. And if you watch this game, you definitely would, you definitely saw he had the issue there. Um, so, you know, Dallas offense, they made some big plays at the end, but that's all it was, big plays. The big play to Creighton, the big play to Barber. It was almost all big plays. They couldn't consistently form drives, and that's what killed them. Um, let's see. And as for the um, Dallas defense, you know, looked good. Getting some pressure on Warner, not sacking him until Ware got that one sack at the end. Um, but getting to him, hitting him, looking good. Last quarter, they just couldn't keep it up. Dallas, his offense could not keep them off the field. And it did him in. They couldn't stop Fitzgerald at the end. Fitzgerald made some great plays. Steve Breston played a great game. All that. All that. So, just a chicken and the egg thing. Do you blame the defense for the offense or the offense for the defense? I, you know, it goes a little both ways, in all fairness. Um, shoot, what else? What else? Arizona. Good effort by them. This is the kind of game the Cardinals normally lose. Today they won it. Um, Warner found, the, summoned old Kurt Warner for the, um, the, um, last part of this game. He put that team on his shoulders, got the two touchdown passes to Preston and Fitz. And he's looking good right now. He could make the Pro Bowl. He could make another Pro Bowl. Wouldn't that be surreal to see Kurt Warner back in the Pro Bowl? Uh, let's see. Dallas's defense already... I mean, excuse me. Arizona's defense already commented. Great pass rush, forcing turnovers, making hard hits, and doing what they need to do. I mean, they probably played better than, than it looks in this game. I know they gave up 24 points, but they forced um, some fumbles... They forced some fumbles that got called back. So, just keep it in mind. And as for Dallas, I wanted to talk a little bit about Dallas real quick. It's odd, isn't it? You remember that video Cowboy TD made, for those of you who watch the other videos on here? Dallas Cowboys, no excuses? I'm not going to get that. Not right now. Um, Dallas Cowboys, no excuses. It was basically about how this team was the same team, only better, that went 13-3 and last year. So with that all being said, it was obvious the Dallas fans had very high expectations. And it's a little weird watching them go through the season so far like this, because they have not looked like that team at all. They have not at, at all backed up those expectations. At no point this season, really, have they come out and said, yeah, we're going to compete for a Super Bowl. And I think there's a lesson to be learned here. You only get so many shots. Last year was Dallas's year. And I'm not saying Dallas is dead this year, but bear with me. Last year, Dallas avoided injuries. They won close games. They were fortunate at the end of games to pull out, like against Detroit and Buffalo and Washington the first time. They avoided major injuries. That was the year. And then they didn't get it done. And Dallas fans, as disappointed as they were, felt, oh, we can just come back next year. We got the same guys. We got the same team. It's no big deal. We'll be just as good this year. And it's not that simple. Injuries are very common in the NFL. If your team has a season where they avoid injuries, avoid crippling injuries, that's your year. And if you can't take advantage that year and do what you and win the Super Bowl or make a good playoff run or whatever your expectations are, it's not going to be easy to get back always. Some teams can do it. New England the last several years has actually been able to do it up to this year. Indy, other teams, it's possible. Can't count on it. 
And, well, I get the sense that while Cowboys fans regretted the playoffs last year, they didn't fully regret it, how bad it really was. But a couple years from now, they might realize just how sad it was. But this season is still young, still plenty of time for them to get their feet under them.